All right, so I'm excited that there's something new in my shop that I haven't touched in a while and I don't know a lot about. What would you ask would make it so exciting? Well, it's this, it's a scooter. It's a Vespa style scooter, except it's not gas powered. It's electric. You can read that, it's an electric scooter. 48 volt and I believe it's 30 amp has a electric motor in the hub right there where the rear wheel is um, other than that it looks like a regular scooter except for when you lift the seat there's no motor it's an empty case nothing in there but dust and that's actually how I came upon this a friend gave it to me a couple years ago and it came with two batteries that go in the scooter but one of the cells is missing and she said it was bad. So I tried to find a replacement cell and nobody sells just one cell. They are all balanced and these are lithium ion batteries from China. Got 4,000 miles, 4,200 miles out of those batteries. So I didn't know what to do. I was gonna convert it to gas, I thought about putting, strapping four car batteries on there, you know, 12 volt batteries, but that would mean I have to have two on the, on the footrest, two in the, in the boot, maybe one back here, and they'd be really, really heavy. I thought it'd be fun, but you know, the more I thought about it, I was like, that's just hokey. I don't want that. So, after about an hour, a uh, year of, of kind of researching and thinking about it, I bought this. Can see it's got the glowy blinky lights on there so this is uh, a replacement battery that actually replaces both of these technology has come a long ways and they're a little smaller and more powerful so I'm hoping it's gonna have more zip the battery came with a new charger came from China I had a guy build it for me who came highly recommended and I hope that it works out so I've got to fit that battery into this compartment which should work pretty good. Should go right down in there. Have a nice low center of gravity, and then I've got to cut the wires and figure out how to make it all work. My first EV exploitation, I think I'm going to call this my Tesla scooter. In other words, a test looter. That's what I'm thinking. I think that'd be a good name for it, test looter. So uh, I'm going to get on this. Uh, I don't know how far I'll get today, but I'm pretty excited. That thing took two months to ship by boat. So I wasn't willing to spend the extra 100 bucks to have it come air mail. And this brick was almost, I think it was $1,100, really expensive. And that's why these and that was all free. So free scooter, but expensive battery. So I'm divulging into the electric world. We'll see how this happens. See what happens. Maybe I'll blow myself up. I don't know. So got to get that battery into that scooter and we'll check it out. I'll let you know how it works. I'm gonna start working on it right now. I'll probably do some update videos. I'm really excited actually. Try this thing out.